All right, I told you that 14 through 21 is just going to be excluded values because, um, you know, asymptotes, asymptotic behavior is something that we just graphed on, and that's really all that you need to know for the SAT. But if you want to move forward in mathematics, you um, in pre-calc, we investigate those a little bit more. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to look at what are excluded values, what the values, what your, what your X cannot be. And so that's kind of a new thing. So, um, you know, we're, we're used to just kind of um, uh, having equations where we solve for x, solve for x, solve for x. This is a situation that sometimes it's important, sometimes it's very important, crucial to know what x cannot be. Because if you're, say, if you have a computer program, you need to make sure that you don't have numbers that will crash your program. Okay. All right. Now, first of all. What we want to do is we want to understand that excluded values only happen when you get a division by zero. You just cannot divide by zero. Everything breaks down, okay, from programs to calculators, all right, including the whole algebraic structure, all right. So you don't really care about the numerator at all because you can have something have an output of zero, but you can't you can't create the division of zero. So what we got to do is we got to figure out the values of this right here. What would make this quadratic in the denominator equal zero? We, we spent a lot of time solving these last uh, last uh, two units ago. Okay, So uh, factors of 14 that add up to 9 are actually 7. I think we already did this one, didn't we? Okay, so excluded values. X cannot equal negative 7 nor negative 2. Okay, that's it. Uh, 15. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go a little quicker because I just want you to know that for 15, the denominator is, I don't have to rewrite the whole problem. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hone in on the denominator and I want to find out where does this guy equal to zero because it can't happen. I need factors of negative six that add up to five. Now, I'm doing this because it's a quadratic. I see x squared plus five x minus six. That's a quadratic, so I got to do quadratic solutions, okay? I can't just... Um, you know, add six to the other side, divide by five, and you know you can't because you've got two variables with two different uh, exponents. So factors of this, let's see, that would be uh, do, 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 positive six, negative one. So we write this out. Okay, write this so that we understand that x cannot equal negative six or one. Okay, so we put cannot equal negative six nor one. That's called finding the excluded values. Now I'm going to do it for the rest. Okay. And again, I'm going to. Okay. Now here is interesting. Um, 2x squared plus 25 equaling 0. Okay, let's set that equal to 0. Okay. Now if uh, now in this case, I only have 1x. Over here, I had two of them both with different exponents, this guy just has one. So what I can do is I can actually move that 25 over to the other side, okay, then divide by two. But I think what you're going to find pretty quickly here is that, notice what happens, that I'm going to have to take the square root here, okay? Now, if you tried to solve this using the quadratic formula, you would be taking the square root of a negative number, okay? Which means that there is no solution to this, okay? So... If there's no solution to this guy, what are the excluded values? There are none. Okay, every number is okay. You're not going to divide by zero in any way. Okay, so watch out for that. If there's no solution to this, okay, because this guy, there's no way that I can make this a negative 25 so that when I add 25, he's zero. Okay, all right, 17. Again, I'm going to focus on the denominator. <clears throat> All right, are there factors of negative 16? Add up to 4, 16, 8, and 2. Okay, so negative 8 and 2. There we go. Just make sure that's right. Yep, okay, so x equals 8 and negative 2. But what I really mean to say is that x cannot equal those. Okay, because that would produce 0 if I plug them in. All right, and this is going to continue. 18. Um, again, I'm just going to focus on that denominator. 
All right, so this is the difference of two squares. So that's x plus 1, x minus 1. You guys factored that many times. Okay, that's negative 1 and 1. Again, x cannot equal those. Number 19. Uh, we got 3 over x minus 2. This guy's already factored. Okay, so x cannot equal 2. Okay, sometimes it's that simple. 20, we got x squared plus 2x plus 1. That's in the denominator. Is Are there any factors of this guy? Let's see, 1 to add up to 2, 1 and 1. Okay, cool. That's x plus 1 and x plus 1. Ah, that's okay. Looks like we're just going to get the same number. We get it twice. Okay, that's what's called double root. Okay, that would that is what would produce a bounce if we tried to graph it, if you remember. So x cannot equal negative 1. You don't write negative 1 twice, just write it once, but you just say negative 1 is not going to work. Now notice if I plugged in the negative 1 here, I'm going to get positive 1 plus negative 2 plus 1. That equals 0. I would be dividing by 0 if I plugged it in. If you're a computer programmer, that program would crash. All right, and then the last one is 4x squared minus 25. That also is a difference of two squares. This guy is 2x plus 5 and 2x minus 5. That's a perfect square. That's a perfect square. Subtraction in between. Do it. Okay? You just write it out. Take the square root of him. Take the square root of him. You've got your two parentheses. Cool. Now, x cannot equal the value that would produce 0 over here. Now, if it was just, if we ignore the 2, it would just be a negative 5. But because the 2 is there, we have to divide by 2. Dogs. All right, so this is a negative 5 over 2. All right, and this would be a positive 5 over 2. X cannot equal those, or else you're going to be divided by 0. Okay? All right, that's it for excluded values. We'll move up to the next topic.